Hey, good morning, it's Rita. Hi. Coming to you from my living room. I just woke up, it's Saturday morning, April 11th. Everybody else is still sleeping. And uh, I just wanted to do, I don't know, my morning reading. <laughs> so usually I start with um, Goddesses for Every Day. And this is a book by Julie Lohr. And April 11th, the goddess, well, the deity, the woman, is Joan of Arc. Joan of Arc, they say, is technically not a goddess, but many goddesses began as human women who were later deified. She is a potent symbol of feminine power, and her faith and bravery transformed many lives. From the age of 13, Joan, or Jean de Arc, received visions from St. Margaret of Antioch, St. Catherine of Alexandria, and Michael the Archangel. Joan became a courageous warrior who gained a kingdom for her king and was then betrayed, becoming a victim in a vicious political struggle. Joan of Arc was captured and sold to the English for 10,000 francs. She was then tried as a heretic in a corrupt ecclesiastical court and burned alive in 1431. Her case was retried in 1456, and she was acquitted. In a later change of heart on the part of the church, Joan was beatified on April 11, 1905, and officially became a Catholic saint in 1920. Saint Joan is usually depicted in art wearing armor and holding a raised sword. And the contemplation for today, would I be willing to die for my beliefs and inner voices? This is really powerful for me because as you know, I had my own spiritual awakening a little over 10 years ago now. And when you start to receive information like messages, just connecting to the non-physical realms, it can feel very um, uncomfortable. You might feel a little out of sorts because you don't know if you're just making it up. And I think that's the biggest struggle is to just trust and have faith. And that is the message of Joan of Arc is to have faith, to trust in what you're receiving, and to believe in yourself more than anything. Believe in what you're receiving. Believe in what you're meant to do here. Be comfortable with that and allow yourself the freedom to express yourself however you like. It's important for us to feel that now, to feel the connection that we have with our non-physical friends, the ones that are around us all the time, the angels and the guides. And it's, it's an amazing experience to actually move yourself into that mode of receptivity that you can receive guidance and messages. I know over the last couple of weeks, I've been more focused on businesses, my businesses, what I need to do, um, maintaining you know supplies in the house and keeping things clean. And now that we've been in this for a few weeks, I'm starting to kind of get into a routine with it. And it feels a little more under control, I suppose, the situation, <laughs> dealing with everything that we're all dealing with at this time knowing that it's not permanent, then imagining how we are going to come out of it. There's a lot to think about. There really is. And I think that every one of us is going to be changed in some way from this process. So real quick, I wanted to do a quick reading. I have my Earth Magic cards. These are from Stephen Farmer. And I'm just going to pull, I'm going to pull like however many they want me to. <laughs> So I'm going to put them over my heart and we're going to connect with the earth realm, which is imagining a beautiful light coming into your body with each breath. White light energy, send it up to your head. Let it expand and open your heart. White light energy, run it down your body, out the bottom of your body. Let it go down and connect with Mother Earth. Just visualize the core of the earth and let yourself wrap your roots around it. That's it. Connect with Mother Earth energy, then bring it back up 
and feel it expand out into the world around you, the air around you, the trees outside of your house, wherever you are, let that energy come up from the earth and let it exit through your body to the rest of the natural world and then connect with the energy of the natural world. And we're gonna just ask what guidance is there for us today? What guidance is there for us today? Mother Earth, spirits of the earth, guardians of the earth, what messages are there for us today? What do we need to be aware of? What's an important message for us to hold today? Okay. <laughs> Spring equinox, rebirth. How beautiful is that? Oh, I love this card. She's holding a bunny rabbit. Look at that. All right. Let me ask what this means. Spring equinox, rebirth. What does this message mean for us right now? It means coming into your own, coming into your own spring equinox. It's spring right now where we live and everything's coming into its own now. It's coming into fruition. It's coming out. Things are happening. There's new life emerging from the soil. This is a time of rebirth for all of us to take ourselves seriously now, to take our dreams and our visions seriously now, and to see possibilities, to begin the process of clearing away the debris from the old world. You know how when you get your gardens ready for springtime, you're raking leaves out, you're removing dead growth from your plants and your shrubs, so that the new growth can emerge. That's what's happening right now. There's a lot of that clearing happening. This spring equinox is bringing us to a place of um, connection with each other and feeling more alive than we've ever felt before. This is a good thing because as we emerge from this coronavirus sequestration, all of the isolation, as we emerge from that, we're going to be blooming. We're really gonna have some beautiful, bright colors coming out of us. I sense and feel almost a sense of like a rainbow of energy sweeping over the planet, helping us to emerge with hope in our hearts, with ideas, fresh ideas, new ideas, inspired ideas, ones that help us create the next version of ourselves and thus our world. So this is a great time to be positive and optimistic, to see yourself right in the middle of this beautiful season of regrowth and rebirth. And I don't want to go much longer because I know we have limited attention spans. <laughs> I know I do. I don't like long videos, so I apologize if this went too long. But know that I love you and I'm praying for all of us. And I know that you're all praying for me and for all of us. So thank you. Thank you for the thoughts, prayers, and for the love that's holding us together at this time. Be well, my friends. Thank you.